Good morning, children, and welcome to First Steps Sunday School. We're going to start, as usual, by singing our hello song. So join in at home. Here goes. Hello, children. Hello, children. Hello, children. It's good to see you here. Hello, children. Hello, children. Hello, children. It's good to see you here. And welcome again, especially to those uh, who aren't in my class but are watching this as well. We've been having lots of stories from the book of Acts, which is in the second part of the Bible, and talks all about the first church, the early Christian church. Now, we're going to carry on with one of those stories. Um, now, we heard, if you remember, how the church grew and grew as the friends of Jesus told everyone about him and what he did and how each day there were lots more people coming to know and believe in Jesus and how everybody, do you remember, everybody shared everything. If they had too many of one thing, they would share it with somebody else. If they had a spare field, they'd sell it and they'd share, share the money so that everybody had just what they needed. But there was a bit of a problem. Jesus' friends were doing lots of work, making sure that everybody got what they needed and sharing things out. And one day somebody came to them and said, actually, you know what? There's some people that are being missed out. These are the, the Greek Christians, those people who are from Greece, who believe in Jesus. They're not getting their fair share. Now, when Jesus' friends heard this, they were a bit upset because they wanted to make sure that everybody had what they needed. And they realised that because they were talking to everybody about Jesus, they were going out and they were speaking to people, they weren't able to do their job properly. So they decided they were going to choose 12 men and they were going to be really good men, men who loved Jesus, men who wanted to do what God wanted them to do. And they were going to choose these 12 men to wait on the tables, to make sure that everybody had enough to eat and everybody had exactly what they needed. And so Jesus' friends wouldn't have to do that anymore. They could just concentrate on telling everybody about how amazing Jesus was. And so they called these men together. Now, one of them was called Stephen. And it says in the Bible that Stephen was full of faith and filled with the Holy Spirit. You remember in one of our stories, we heard how all Jesus' friends were filled with the Holy Spirit. Stephen used to do some amazing things. It says that he was... Um, doing signs and wonders. That means he was doing what the other friends of Jesus were doing. He was making sick people better. He was going around and he was talking about Jesus and he was doing amazing things. In fact, he was doing such amazing things that those religious people who didn't like the Christians and didn't like Jesus started to get a bit fed up. They started to get angry because they didn't want people hearing about Jesus. They wanted people to carry on as they were. But Stephen was getting noticed. And so what they did was they went and they took Stephen and they brought him to the top man, the man who was in charge of all those religious people that didn't like Jesus. And this man said to him, you know, this is not good. You must stop. And some people came and told lies about Stephen. They said he was doing things that he wasn't doing. And then the religious man said to Stephen, what have you got to say for yourself? Now Stephen was amazing because he used this chance to tell them all about Jesus. And he didn't start with Jesus. He started right back at the beginning in the Old Testament where God first makes friends with Abraham and he gives Abraham a promise. And Stephen told them about the promise that 
God gave Abraham that his children and their children and their children's children would be so many they wouldn't be able to be counted. And then he went on to tell them about Joseph, who was sold into slavery, but became the, the prime minister of Egypt and saved God's people by bringing them to Egypt so that they would have enough food. And then he said, and then there was Moses. Moses, who took the people out of Egypt when they were turned into slaves and who brought them to the Red Sea where God parted the waves and led his people through and then led them through the desert to the promised land. And he said to these religious men, Stephen said, do you know what? All these different important people that we remember were talking about the time when Jesus would come and you didn't listen. He's been, God has been telling you about Jesus coming and when he came, you rejected him. And not only did you reject him and didn't want to know him, you put him on the cross and you killed him. And then Stephen looked up and he said, I can see heaven and I can see Jesus standing at the right side of God. Now, when he'd finished speaking, oh my goodness, the religious people were mad, so angry with him that they took him and they dragged him out of the city and they picked up these great big stones and they threw stones at him until he died. Just before he died, Stephen did what Jesus did. He asked God to forgive them for what they were doing. And then he died. Now, there was a man there whose name was Saul, and he was looking after the religious people's coats while they were stoning Stephen. And we're going to hear a little bit more about Saul next week. OK, children, what I want you to remember is it's a sad story when you think about it because Stephen dies. But you know what? Stephen wasn't frightened of dying. He wasn't afraid to die for Jesus because he looked up and he saw Jesus in heaven and he knew that if he died, he would go to heaven and he would be with Jesus and God forever. And so he wasn't afraid. And we don't need to be afraid of anything, even of death, because we know that if we love Jesus and he's our friend, then when we die, we go straight to heaven and we live with him and God in heaven forever. Now, we're going to sing a song, children. It's one we haven't done for a long time, so I hope you remember. It's, a, it's talking about how God rolled back the waters of the Red Sea to save his people. And it talks about how God is with us. So here goes. How great is our God, how great is his name, how great is his love, forever the same. He wrote back the waters of the mighty Red Sea, and he said, I'll never leave you. Put your trust in me. How great is our God. How great is his name. How great is his love. Forever the same. He wrote back the waters of the mighty Red Sea. And he said, I'll never leave you, put your trust in me. And that's just what Stephen did. He put his trust in God and he knew that he would be with him forever and God would never leave him. So children, I will see you next week. Have a brilliant week at school. Be safe, be well and God bless. Take care. Bye.